earth and I just got to do it. This requires all loyal men to do. Now we should have to do it. Yes, yes, that we must do. Yes, that we must do. Thank you. 
what I promised to do for you years ago. I know, but I must be honest. When Lord Brenda tells me, it was too late for him to undo it. Make your mind easy. I'm not afraid of anything, Lord Brenda. It won't be my fault if I don't bring him from a reasonable frame of mind. Now, we want to help. At once. <laughs> You would have 
never to believe that. If you cannot deny this, you are a close and personal friend of Lord Brent, the most incorrigible rival. That is And I made all you that thing. I do not doubt that you are loyal to your flock. But the only thing I can be cuter in me. How do I know that you'll be loyal to me? I am to be loyal to them, my lord. And it follows I must be loyal to you. Since our truth. That chicken of yours has an answer to it. Keep loving. And if you wish to hope, keep that nose of yours out of politics. I sail for England by the night's time. Here's your help, Victor. Sure, I'll never disbelieve in miracles again. Uh, it is what all the plays in England do, you your reverence. You held your own with Cromwell. Ah, <laughs> uh, but there wasn't a more anxious man in Ireland. That's what it's for us to do. Seems to think I changed the policy like I changed the shirt. Oh. He was wrong. How is it the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow? What do ever came near me, I'll still be the victor of fame. In good things are this fool this peace when life keeps on the arm. And elders I took and for life, and so I come to farm. So keep my foot, I know for me, keep for my thoughts of poison, and stand double thanks to visit. Welcome home, my lord. Sir Patrick. 
You have welcome news. You have his majesty's acceptance. Claims of the soul. Good news. Oh, And the heathen army is ready to leave Holland for the soul. God save the king. God save the king. The king's men are in the saddle again. He's proud himself. Only greatly. Ah, it's so hard to say my no. Now that God's friend is his turn. Ah, it's good, sir. Pardon me. Said you're not seen till I find out by the land. Have your hands with us. 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 Have
grace upon it, so it is. Let him through there. Well met, old friend. And how has time dealt with you? What an answer, but now it's better. Sufficient. What? Man's life. Wood. Sir Dennis Melrock. Now lying at the tower and destined to be executed at sunset tonight, or maybe the admiral's death. Melrock is convicted of treason. The same Melrock conducted his late body to your father of the sacrifice. Sly regret, I must be guided by my lord. Sir, I beg you to remember your promise from the last part. I have not forgotten. Sir. Sir. I must have meant to be a happy beginning to my day. Peter, I wish you would ask me for anything else in the world. Since you hold me to my word, I do so. And if I'm to reach London in time, let ten and pass from the road. The king will grant him three parts. To tell him that he owes his life. A bitter threat. The vicar has brought a few pardons to King Charles. Yes, King, God bless him, has redeemed his promise. You're free to go, Sir Dennis, whenever you will. Oh, so you will want supper after all. <laughs> yes, but not here. Come along, come along. I know where we'll have supper. To your Majesty's health. And may I congratulate you, sir, on your safe return. When I assure you of my loyalty, so I speak to my friend, Sir Dennis, as well. Indeed. Your faithful servant, sir. And may I congratulate you, Vicar, that in spite of all chances and changes, you are still the Vicar of Yes, sir. Still the Vicar of Until...